fourth pruning style is window layering. Window pruning is used in orchards to varying degrees and is often in combination with other styles. It's not commonly used because it's labour intensive requiring many small cuts around the tree. This style is a modification of traditional window pruning whereby random branches are removed from around the tree. This style has the word layering included because it aims to position strategic windows so as to encourage and maintain well spaced limb structures throughout the canopy. This is the tree that I pruned just only a few minutes ago and you can see we've got a window here with one layer of canopy here. We have another layer of canopy here with light penetrating in through the side and another layer here with these limbs. When I prune, you'll see that I target generally the downward facing uh, branches so as to try to create these gaps so sunlight can get now into the tree through the sides and start producing more shooting and more bearing fruit inside the tree. So here we have a typical tree in this narrow row spacing. It's a wall of foliage on the outside, not much foliage on the inside. There's a conglomeration of branches in there. It's all very congested. We now need to go in there, pick our limbs, which ones do we want to keep, and start to produce some gaps in the canopy. So we've just finished this tree and you can see from the type of branches here, you know, they're narrow branches that's only around about 20 millimetres in diameter. There's a number of them on this side. You can definitely see a layering of canopy that I've left behind here. I've tried to thin out some of this canopy here to create some holes here. You notice also that the top of the tree is left behind. I haven't touched that. Perhaps I will probably touch a bit of that next year. I'll leave it alone for now. The main focus is getting light on the sides of the tree to feed this shooting that's going on. I also did cut out a um, water chute. You can see there's a water chute here that was crisscrossing. It was going to cause a major problem in uh, the tree if I didn't cut it out. So uh, although it's young and vigorous, it was actually positioned in the wrong place. So I also cut, out, cut it out. There are a couple more water shoots in there that do need to be removed but there's so much you can do in one year. If I kept on going there wouldn't be much left of this tree so you just have to pull up stumps and move on to the next tree. Definitely there's enough in there, there's enough holes in there to let the light in. This is a tree that was window laid a year ago and you can see these definite gaps in the tree still exists but you can also see a lot of canopy, new canopy growth inside the tree and even some flowers starting to form on this new canopy which is what we want to see. Now there's no need for any further pruning on the side here. I did make some very significant cuts on the side here already with some gaps. So now I'm going to focus at the top. Originally I focused on the sides in the first year. Now I'm going to take one, uh, one of these metal limbs out. I'll just take another one out, one of these water shoots. Now that should be enough for now. I'm not going to touch it up anymore because I don't want too much regrowth at the top of the tree but it is letting in enough light now to filter through the canopy and continuing to feed those leaves inside the canopy.